Good morning, folks. Lindsay Huddleston again, back with another edition of your Monday Motivation. I hope you had a great, great 4th of July weekend. It was a time to uh, have some time away from the daily grind, uh, to reflect with family and friends. I know I had a great time. I was able to get with family and friends and sit back and reflect and look at the fireworks and just focus on what's next. And uh, of course, I'm always thinking about you guys, always thinking about the next time I can get in front of you to share a positive message. And in my daily travels between uh, working with athletes and having my clients who fortunately are now all over the world competing and coming back and thinking about the issues that they're dealing with, something that's on my mind I wanted to share today is do you have frustration justification? What do I mean by that? Can you really justify the frustration you have for not achieving your goals? Now don't get me wrong, as a sports psychology consultant, I'm all about you achieving your best, doing your best, and setting those goals and achieving those goals. Remember, dreams, goals, aspirations. It's my mantra. But I also recognize that sometimes we get frustrated when we don't achieve a goal, but sometimes we're not really in the position to justify that frustration. What do I mean by that? If you're learning something new, if you're learning a new skill, whether it's you know learning some new technology, learning to work on your left hand when you're really right-handed, uh, trying to change your personal PR for you know whatever you compete in, it can be very challenging because in your mind, one, you know you want to get it done. Two, there may be this uh, quasi window that you have, and what do I mean when I say quasi window? It's not a real window, but it's a window that we put in our mind and say I only have this amount of time or X is going to happen, or something bad may happen. So we kind of put the, ourselves in this pressure type box and we say, I got to get this thing down. I got to get it down. And then when we have challenges with it, instead of us taking a step back to reflect, okay, I'm not getting this right now. Let me take a moment back. We do what? We go harder. We go in harder because we feel that emotionally that if we don't commit ourselves even more, then we're giving up on ourselves. Well, there's a physiological aspect to this. Great example is if you play golf. I play a little bit of golf. I'm familiar with the game enough, but I'm not a pro golfer. And the perfect example is I don't have the luxury, or nor do I dare try to get upset at my golf game not being great. You know why? Because I don't play enough. I don't practice golf enough to be frustrated at a bad outcome. That doesn't mean you still don't try to achieve, but what I'm getting at is that if you're learning a new skill, we can easily say to ourselves, I want to have this down after today's practice. I want to have this down after this week's practice. I want to get this down this summer. But for some reason, you may not get that breakthrough that you're working towards, and we get frustrated. Now, scientists and researchers say that frustration itself is not a bad thing. Frustration is just an acknowledgement that there's something else you want to achieve. The concern comes when that frustration leads to anger. And some say anger is not totally a bad thing, it's just capturing emotion. But my concern is what many call the negative emotional chain. Let me put that up on the screen. The negative emotional chain. Because you get frustrated, then that turns to anger. And because you can't get what you want, that negative emotional chain starts, and now you lead to despair. Now you say, woe is me. My world is ending, the world is over, because these arbitrary windows that I set for myself and these goals that I set are not being met. So for that reason, you get so hurt and so bent out of shape that that one original thing you're trying to work on is blown up. The one little thing you're trying to achieve, you can barely even do it. So what is my solution? How do I want to help you with that? Here at SBS Sports Psychology Solutions, that's my goal. Let's use a basketball player, for example. If you're working on getting that mid-range down, long live the mid-range, that 15-footer and it's not falling, it's not falling, and you want to be able to hit 10 in a row before you move to the next spot, which so many you know, high school, collegiate, pro players do as they practice. If you keep having a problem with that shot's not falling, stop. Take a break step away. And even more importantly, focus on something you know you can do. Keep missing the shot, take it in, lay it up off the glass. A layup, yes a layup, because that's a very high percentage shot. And more importantly, I need you to see the ball go in. I need you to see a successful shot. If you are a runner, if you're a sprinter, a long distance person, and you're not getting that PR time like you want, go out for a nice job. Go out for something that you know you can accomplish. See, what you have to tell yourself is that no, nothing's wrong with me. No, I'm not broken. 
No, I'm not a loser. I'm just someone who's learning something new. And it's taking me longer than I expected. And I have to make sure that I don't let myself get stressed because the physiological aspect is that when you start to get stressed, now your muscles tighten up. Now how are muscles being tightened going to help you on that mid-range shot? How are stressful aspects coming to your body going to help you when you're trying to get a PR and get your time down in your sprint or in your long distance run? What I'm saying, people, is that we have to recognize when we start having that negative emotional chain and we have to break away from what we're doing. This could be if you're a writer, if you're in corporate America, if you're an artist, if you're trying to get a hook to a song, step away. Because what do we do all the time? We feel that in order to show how much we care, we have to punish ourselves. In order to show how much we care, we have to punish ourselves. And I'm telling you, that's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So again, to break that chain when you're trying to achieve something and you get frustrated and you see it's not happening like you want, recognize that. Take a break. Step away for a second. Go eat a snack. Listen to some music. Especially if you're managing your own individual workout, if you're the one responsible for the outcome of something, you control that. Because what you don't want to do is continue to go down the same emotional negative chain, excuse me, continue to follow that same negative emotional chain down that ladder and continue to spiral till you get to the bottom, the bottom of that pit, which is despair. Where you say, oh, I can't get anything right. I can't do anything right. I want to quit. I want to give up. It's hard trying to be successful. And just because we say we want to do something doesn't mean it's going to happen what we want. What's one of the biggest things we say all the time? I'm not where I want to be in my life right now. That's a fair assessment. But then also, why do we beat ourselves up so much? Can we really justify, justify the frustration we have? Do you really have frustration justification? Well, you can say, I'm not where I want to be in a particular life, but there's been all kind of obstacles that you've been overcoming the entire time. And you may say that's not an excuse, and I'm not saying it's an excuse either, but it could be an explanation. It's not an excuse, but it's an explanation of why you are not where you are. If you're up today this morning or sometime today, and you're looking at this video, and something in this video resonates with you, that means you're a hard worker. That means you're trying to achieve more. That means you're looking for the way, and I hope that these words can help you. Lindsay Huddleston with Sports Psychology Solutions here for the Monday Motivation. Hope you had a great, great holiday weekend. I hope you were able to enjoy your family and friends. I hope you were able to reflect on what you want to do next. But also, I will say, do you have frustration justification? Can you really justify being frustrated if you're up early working at it? If you're up late working at it? If you're thinking about it all the time? If you're always trying to find a new way to get better? Don't be frustrated. Just take a break and say, I got to come back at it again, and then you'll get your breakthrough. That is life, and I hope this can help you. So with that, this may be a shorter version, but I just want to share this with you. Hope you guys go on and have a great week. As always, take your goals as big as they may be and break them down into small little plans and work on them bit by bit, bit by bit. That way you won't have that frustration, and you can justify your hard work. You can justify moving forward, and you can justify achieving your goals. So with that, you guys have a great day. Thank you for taking the time. Continue to support Sports Psychology, support Sport Psych Solutions on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the video, share it with your friends, and the best of luck, and talk about your wins. Thank you.